so rising something Rising something means you don't you know If you wanna see all my links, go get the bottle You'll see them Come on, let's praise the love we made it into a new week Yeah, let's praise them Our families made it to Let's praise the Lord, yeah. Let's give him some glory, yeah. You know when you see the angels praise with you too. Come on, come on, come on and pray. Praise, praise him. Praise God, praise the Holy Spirit, Mama Ruanadish. Praise your love of me and Yahshua. Mashiach, King Jesus Christ of Nazarene. Come on, let's take a minute or two and praise our holies of holies, our Elohim Godhead, living in the heavens, yeah, watching over us and protecting us. start this over there. so listen i was supposed to come on to make a video today but the lord gave me um an important word a couple of important words um listen so the lord told me he was like rosalyn well i've been doing this for quite some time but he wanted me to share with you but oh good long while ago the lord said to me rosalyn he said um the witches and the nefarious evil workers of the enemy they speak in their day all the time they speak to the days all the time and i was like well daddy y'all already do that he said but i'm gonna teach you a new way so now here we are months later and he wants me to teach you so every morning when you wake up and you pray you need to speak into your life after you pray first you should be getting up thanking god for raising you and your family up and breathing in you right and that you're in the capacitation where you can do everything on your own you have your own mind your ligaments you can walk and talk and all of that so you're supposed to praise god for that and then pray you know whatever else you are led to pray and then after that you you should be thanking god that the, the moon did not smite you by night and at night when you pray you should be thanking god the sun did not smite you by day but when you wake up you should be playing the moon did not smite you by night right and you should always cancel your uh demonic dreams before you go to sleep right that way you're in control of them and you shoot his name but after you do all your praying you should say to father and to the universe which is his universe which is him that today will be a blessed day that all plans that the enemy have for me today from the east south north and west in the heavens on the earth in the sky in the earth under the earth from from the netherland which is in the book of job from the world of the dead which is in the book of job or from the abyss because the enemy can operate from there as well <clears throat> That none of those things will come to pass. I cancel them in the spiritual realm. I collapse those evil appointments, assignments, and seasons and dates in the spiritual realm and by the bloody shoe of Jesus. And the fire of the Holy Spirit burns everything up, and the Holy Spirit wind blows it away. And the bloody shoe of Jesus is a barrier against these things, a wall against these things, in shoe's name. So you also say um, any witches or nefarious people, evil people, you know, um, speaking into your life through an altar or um, shrine or through a mirror or a crystal ball, that those things will not prevail spiritually neither. 
against you and they are canceled too and the blood is a weapon against those things in Yeshua's name and then you say father in the name of Mashiach, whatever you want for my day will come to pass whatever i desire that lines up with you for my day will come to pass or for my week or for my month will come to pass or for my year will come to pass everything you designed for me to have this day and for it will come to pass everything you speak over me will come to pass because what you say and speak always trumps over the enemy and any of his nefarious workers and children in yeshua's name so father bring forth all that you have for me this day this week this month the rest of this year and into next year in yeshua jesus name still with the blood of yeshua jesus and father my hands and bosom is open to all that you have for me, you, the Ruach Holy Spirit, which is our mother, and Yeshua HaMashiach, which is our Messiah and husband man and lover man, and you, which is the holies of holies, the Elohim, our father, our creator, everything started with you, Alpha and Omega, still in the blood of your Jesus. Also, I had two dreams last night. The first dream, I was with, a, it was an angel and she was a lady, but, um, in the dream i didn't know who she was but after i woke up i knew and um me and her was about to go to this really extravagant event it was a heavenly event now she had on this beautiful royal blue outfit right with bling bling <laughs> and then i i had an outfit like hers but i didn't want to dress like her i wanted to have something different so i had had this beautiful beige bling bling looking dress with a nice bling bling jacket and in the dream i said to her uh, in the vision i said to her okay i want to wear this i wore this to church a week or two ago and it smelled so good it smelled like perfume and everything she told me she said no you put that back you're not gonna wear that you're gonna wear what i wear so go and get your dress like mine so i did and i woke up and i instantly knew what it meant and god confirmed it I already taught y'all when y'all see somebody wearing beige in a dream and they supposed to be a Christian, that means they're not they're they're not like a 100 percent Christian. They're hiding. It's like they're lukewarm. So my enemy is trying to make me look like a lukewarm Christian, trying to make me look like I'm not really who that I say that I am. But I am who I say that I am because in the vision, the angel refused to let me put that garment on. She said, you must wear what I have, royalty, right? So I said, wow. So then God was like, tell my people, share the dream because it is quite a few of us that people are trying to make us seem like we're not Christians, that we're not Elohim children. We're not the holies of holies children. We're not anointed kingdom heirs of the community and kingdom of God. People are trying to taint our names, um, dis destroy our names, sh shame us, trying to sway people from us, trying to tell people we shouldn't pray, let us pray for them. And all kinds of crazy stuff because God says there's people out there that's jealous and and because they don't have, have what, what they think we have and um, they want to destroy it. They want to take it from us at any means. So the Lord said, all of those people that are trying to do these things to us, it shall not warrant. And that all the destruction they try to do to us, all the shaming they try to do to us, all the bad words they try to do to us, it won't even reach us. It'll slap right back to them. And God said he will take everything from them, clean it with the blood and give it to us. Right? So that's the first dream. The second dream I had, I was home in New Jersey. I'm always having visions of being home because God let me know I'm going there soon. <laughs> so there's this bus. Uh, are you still, I'm from Mount Clare. Y'all know that. And there's a bus to 34. It goes from Penn Station, Newark to Mount Clare. And then there's another bus called the 25 bus that goes to Irvington, which is off the chain right now. It used to be a rich area, right? Um, and there was two other buses, but I couldn't see them. And um, I was coming with these angels again they were females because <laughs> we have female and male angels and i've seen them a lot right so we was coming from some big event again and um we uh was going to sit at the bench and we was and we was waiting for i think a chauffeur to come and get us right but the buses was coming right now when when you see a bus in your dream and you're the one driving the bus that means your ministry is about to 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 grow but if you see a bus and somebody else is driving it and you get on and you you put 
the silver change in there or you put any kind of money in there, that's a demonic driver driving the bus. That means they want to try and take your ministry from you. And when you put the change in there or the money in there, you make a dem demonic transaction with them to affect your ministry finances. So these buses had all these dark entities driving them. And um, I kept saying, to everybody, let's get the bus because the, the chauffeur is not here yet. And they said, just wait, he's coming. So like every time I tried to flag uh, these, it was like four buses. I tried to flag them down for us to get on. <laughs> the entity on the bus was, looked at me and took off. <laughs> it wouldn't even stop. Right. And so the angels I was with, they kept saying, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? You're not meant to get on that. Right. So I woke up and I said, Daddy, I know what it means. And he confirmed it. And I was like, that means some, some evil people want to try and take my ministry from me. And they want to try and mess up with the finances that comes through the ministry. He said, yes. And he said, share with my people because it's a lot of y'all that have ministries. So, so, so God gave me this prayer, right? So pray this. And sis, if you're listening... Um, type this prayer up in the first prayer that I said, right? Because I'm starting to make another prayer book. And the Holy Fire prayer book that I've been making for five months, guys, is finally released on Barnes and Nobles. Go and get it, get it, get it. It's called Holy, Holy what is it? Holy Fire prayer book? Oh, yeah, Holy Fire prayer book. Go get it, get it, get it. It's hardback, almost 400 pages, and it's only 28 or 29.99. Get it, get it, get it, get it. All right, so here's the prayer. The Father said in the name of Yeshua Jesus, anybody that's trying to take your ministry from you, trying to, to pray against the finances that come in your ministry, trying to collapse your ministry, trying to come against your ministry, trying to taint it, make it look bad. Um, all ministries that are truly of the Lord is standing on the rock of ages so they shall not be removed. And we keep our faces like flint on you, Father. And our ministry spaces is on you like flint. And nothing and nobody can destroy our ministries or mess with the finances that come into the ministry because they are covered with the bloody issue and the spiritual rim and the fire of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is over the treasure of God. So, Anybody trying to come over um, the finances in our lives, whether it be our ministries, our jobs, our careers, um, our uh, uh, investments, whatever it is, the Holy Spirit rushing wind is going to knock these people from kingdom come and a fire is going to burn them to ashes and all their evil works will not prevail and we bind and bound them and the angels will collect them and send them to the feet of Yeshua and he will trample all over them in their evil works and he will bind and bind them and keep them that way till they confess and get right if not when they leave this earth woe unto the soul that harbors those bodies and father you said to say this everything that they have now I mean everything their people their happiness their money anything any inheritance that's coming to them take it daddy and wash it with the blood issue and distribute it among us and our family and the kingdomness of our kingdom and yeshua's name to infinity which is you father because you are forever so shall it be in yeshua's name blood of jesus shalom we thank the father for what he's about to do for us, yeah, yeah. You know our daddy, yeah. You know our mama, ooh. You know I love a man, a husband, man, Yeshua. They'll never let nobody steal from us. No, no, never, never, never. You'll not let the enemy try to collapse us, no. We're gonna always be protected. So get up on your feet or sit in your chair and praise him, yeah. Bless y'all. See ya. Thank you.